Welcome to Draw Studio. Today we're going to learn how to draw a two point perspective grid. Let's get started. Grids in perspective work off of the 45 degree principle. Because a box is made of 90 degree right angles, a line going from corner to corner would cut through at a 45 degree angle. Now, let's imagine this square is on the ground and we're looking straight down on it. A box in two point perspective is angled to the horizon so the corner is closer to it. If we extend the lines to meet the horizon, it would look like this. The lines of the box remain parallel because we're looking down, not in perspective. The line that goes through the box from corner to corner meets the horizon at a 45 degree angle from the box, at what we call the 45 degree vanishing point. Now, if we look at the same square in two point perspective, we see the parallel lines vanish to points on the horizon. Because of the principle of convergence, which is the core idea behind linear perspective. This means that the corners of the box are not truly 90 degrees, but represent a 90 degree angle in perspective. A line that goes through the corners of the box represents a 45 degree angle in perspective. Taking that line to the horizon would give us a 45 degree vanishing point because the 45 degree principle remains the same when drawn in perspective. This 45 degree vanishing point will be what aids us in constructing our grids. If we look down on the square again, but this time repeat it as a grid, notice that the 45 degree lines pass through each of the corners of the grid and meet the horizon as parallel lines. As we just saw, in a perspective view, these parallel lines will vanish to a point on the horizon, but still go through each corner of our grid tiles. This is how we will construct our grid. Now let's do a simple grid in two point perspective. Start with a horizon line and choose two vanishing points. Then draw lines from your vanishing points to create a single square on the ground plane. This will be the first tile of our grid. Now we draw a line across the corners of our first tile to the horizon to get the 45 degree vanishing point. Next, we draw a line down from the 45 degree vanishing point through the opposite corner of our tile. These two 45 degree lines will be how we construct the grid. Notice that one of my original perspective lines cuts through one of the 45 degree lines. This represents the corner of the next tile because all of the 45 degree lines pass through the corners of my grid tiles. That new perspective line gave us another intersection of a 45 degree line, which means we can draw a new perspective line through this point. Every time we draw a new perspective line, we have a new point going through a 45 degree line, which creates a back and forth pattern. We simply follow this pattern to create a two point perspective grid. If we want to extend our grid, we can create a new 45 degree line, which means we can draw a new perspective line through this point. As we keep doing this, our lines will eventually fall outside of the vanishing points and become too distorted to be usable. This 45 degree line connects off my page so I can use a 45 degree line through the next perspective line to find the corner point. And here is our two point perspective grid. This simple grid was constructed correctly with the 45 degree principle, but there is still a small problem with it. When we constructed our initial tile, there was no way to know if it was a perfect square in perspective. We just eyeballed a shape that might have been a rectangle in perspective. If you don't need total accuracy, the simple method is a fast, easy way to make a gridded ground plane. If you do want more accuracy in your grid, there are a few steps we add in the beginning to ensure that the first tile is an actual square in perspective. To make an accurate two point grid, start with a horizon line and then choose a station point by bringing a vertical line down from the horizon. Remember this represents where the viewer of the image is standing. So make it as far below the horizon as you can to make a less distorted grid. From the bottom of the station point, we will use a large right angle to pick where we want our vanishing points. These can be anywhere we like, as long as they are chosen on a right angle pivoting from the station point. Using the 45 degree principle, if we cut the right angle in half, 
and draw a line to our horizon, we get our 45 degree vanishing point. Now that we have two vanishing points and a 45 degree vanishing point based on the viewer's station point, we can construct a more accurate grid. To make our first tile, bring lines down from the vanishing points to create the bottom corner of the tile. Then draw one more side and pause here. We need to draw a line up from the bottom corner of our box to the 45 degree vanishing point. Where it crossed our side perspective line would tell us exactly where the back corner of a perfect square in space would be. Since we know this would be the back of our tile, we cross it with the other perspective line. This will be the first tile of our grid. Next, we bring a line down from the 45 degree vanishing point to the corner of our tile and repeat the same process as before. Every time a perspective line crosses a 45 degree line, we draw a new perspective line through it. This gives us the corners of each tile, which the 45 degree lines will connect together. And like before, we can extend the grid out beyond our initial tile by creating more 45 degree lines through each corner to get new points for perspective lines. And here is our accurate two point grid. Because our first tile was based off of the station point, instead of choosing it randomly like we did in the simple grid, we have a true square tile meaning all four sides are the same relative size in perspective. Now we can associate a scale to the tile and know that any section on the grid would be the same scale, making it more accurate to measure from. Notice that the grid still looks strange as we get farther out. If we construct a cone of vision from our station point, we can see why. The strange looking tiles fall outside of the cone of vision, meaning it is outside of the viewer's vision, so they look distorted. The most normal part of the grid lies inside the cone of vision, and will make our drawings look more correct. When learning perspective, all of these steps can seem daunting at first, but once you understand the principles and memorize the steps, it will become second nature. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.